Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the end of Windows 11 21 H2. For those of you who don't know, Windows 11 21 H2 is basically the first Windows 11 version that was ever released. And this Windows 11 version is coming to an end and its end of support date is coming really, really soon. So stay tuned. In this video, we're going to talk about the end of support for Windows 11 21 H2 and other info that you may find useful if you are still currently on that version of Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all if we go to the official microsoft website to the windows 11 version 21 h2 section we're going to notice here the current status of august 31 2023 and microsoft is stating the following on october 10 2023 home and pro editions of windows 11 version 21 h2 will reach end of servicing the upcoming october 2023 security update to be released on october 10, 2023 will be the last update available for this version. After this update, devices running this version will no longer receive monthly security and preview updates containing protections from the latest security threats. Enterprise Education IoT Enterprise and Enterprise Multi-Session Editions for this version will reach end of support on October 8, 2024 and will receive security updates until then. And also, Windows Update will automatically initiate a feature update for Windows 11 customer devices and non-managed business devices that are at or within several months of reaching end of support. So basically what this means on October 10, 2023, Windows 11 21 H2 will reach the end of support. And basically after that date, we'll be able to receive any security patches, any new features, any new improvements. And of course, it is highly recommended that you upgrade to a newer version until that is happening. For example, 22 H2 or 23 H2, if that will be released then. And basically what you need to do if you have Windows 11 21 H2 is to go into your settings app and then go to Windows update and make sure you click on check for updates and download and install all the updates available and Microsoft should start to initiate as you saw some automated upgrades for Windows 11 21 H2 to Windows 11 22 H2 at the moment and after Windows 11 23 H2 will be released you will be able to receive automatic updates to Windows 11 23 H2. I'm also very curious let me know in the comments below how many of you if there are any are still using Windows 11 21 H2 maybe there are some users that have stopped their updates or something like that let me know below in the comments and let me know if you are planning to upgrade to a newer version after the end of support or if you're planning to stay on that version a little longer. Of course, you can always check the article below in the video description where you'll also have the official Microsoft link with more information related to the end of support of Windows 11 21 H2. And of course, if some of you are still using Windows 11 21 H2, it's good to know that if you upgrade to Windows 11 22 H2, you're going to have a lot of new features inside Windows 11. For example, you're going to have some new file explorer features, tabs in file explorer and so on, and a lot of improvements for file explorer overall. Improvements for the taskbar such as the new overflow menu or the new task manager button when you right click on the taskbar, a completely redesigned system tray inside Windows 11, new UI for the task manager as well, alongside with clock with seconds in the system tray, and many other new features that you can see an in-depth list of if you check out my channel or my website in which I talked about different Windows 11 22H2 new feature updates. Basically, you can search for Moment 1, Moment 2, and Moment 3 features, which were gradually rolling out to Windows 11 22H2. And of course, if you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.